Hildreth Vegan here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Season 5. I've got a lot of new mods installed that I've never played with before, so I'm going to give, be giving them a try. What the Probably the major mods, I'm going to say, that I installed was Remote Tech, where it, the uh, rules for having a remote connection to the Space Center are a lot more stringent. Uncurbled Start uh, requires us to uh, do a lot more unmanned missions and uh, changes up the tech tree quite a bit and in conjunction with that I also added a bunch of new uh, contract packs that kind of go along with the updated uh, resource uh, research tree and in addition to that we also added tech life support so that we will have to uh, provide food water air and electricity to all of our Kerbals in manned missions. So, let's take a look at this uh, tech tree. And you can see it's a, it's a lot different. All of these nodes are not currently populated, uh, but uh, you, there are mods I can install later down the line if I want to get uh, some of these more advanced uh, technologies populated. But, that being said, it does rearrange the technology in a way that fits in better with the uncurbled start. So when you first start, you only have some very, very basic parts here that you can do your first mission with. And then each of these no nodes are very small research cost because they realize that you can't get a lot, just a heck of a lot of science with your initial uh, launches. So the first nodes are very small requirements and then of course they get a little higher as they progress but we start off with zero science 25,000 I do have Kerbals can die turned on so our our four famous Kerbals I should say they uh, our veteran crew they can die and uh, I will be adding in Kerbals I was gonna take all the Kerbals from season 4 but uh, who knows if those same people are even gonna be watching this this season so all new season, all new Kerbals. So whenever it is time to start doing manned launches, Kerbled launches, I should say, be sure and leave your name suggestions in the comment section below as, as well as what you would like your Kerbals mission to be. So if you want them to be a pilot or an engineer, or whatever the other thing is, scientist, then uh, leave it in the comment section below and I will we'll try to accommodate you. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's go into the mission control first and you'll see that the missions are all different now due to uh, the, the packs that I installed. I'm not super keen on the artwork here, but that's okay, I don't have to be. Uh, let's look and see what we have to do. We can perform experiments around the KSC. Uh, the launch pad, mission control, SPH, and then the tracking station. I will get this one, but not yet because I can't actually get around yet without uh, some way to, uh, to roam around. So I'm not going to take that one. Uh, let's look at the SETI contracts. Um, first we will do altitude record of 18 kilometers. I should be able to do that. We get a little bit of money for that. So that should be good. Escape the atmosphere. Now that may be a little harder to do, but I'm going to go ahead and take that. Uh, and I think we should be able to do it. Maybe not this mission or this episode, but maybe the next episode. These are probably going to be kind of short episodes due to the slower progression all right so the game will progress slower due to the increased complexity in the research and so the the missions will will be uh they'll be longer in between missions so let's get started let's take a look at our parts what do we have to build with not much not much of anything really so i do want to make sure that i go into kerbal engineering here so let's put a pot out let's make sure this is set up so that I don't have to include the part I want partless okay that way I don't have to include that little uh, recorder to uh, to add 
the Kerbal Engineering overlay. I want it as default here, so... Weird. Okay. <laughs> I just spent the last, like, five minutes trying to figure out why my mouse wouldn't click. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's starting off good. It's starting off good. So we're gonna build a very, very basic rocket here, and it's gonna have the Stay Putnik and a Might Solid Fuel Booster, some fins. Um, I think we can put on some batteries, which we will need due to the nature of this version here. All right, so we don't want to run out of electricity. And this thing uses a tremendous amount of electricity, so we're going to pop it down just right next to the fin. Hopefully that will kind of protect it a little bit. And I think that's all we can do. I think that's all we can do. Oh, wait. The most important part, the science. The science! Let's just pop it right here. Put a little thermometer. Oh, I did put in a restock mod as well. And all the mods are listed down below. So all the parts are going to look just a little bit different. I wanted to give it a little something uh, different. So we're going to do KVS uh, test alpha. All right. This is the first test. And we're going to see if we can get just a little bit of science off of the launch pad. And then we, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try something different here. Let's uh, do a thrust limiter. Let's, uh, I'm going to do just a tiny bit of thrust here. Let's see if it can even get us off the ground here. There we go. That's the thrust weight to ratio of one. I'm going to put the solid fuel down so that it should be able to just burn just enough to, like, push us off the ground. Hopefully not to enough to uh, make us fall and die. 12 seconds. We'll see. We'll see if that works. So this will be the, the first test. We're going to do kind of an engine test. And we'll see what we can get done here on the launch pad. All right. Sitting out on the launch pad. Not much to see here, folks. Let's go ahead and take the temperature here on the launch pad. I'm going to recover that. All right. 2.4 science earned. You betcha boots, Roy. So we need five science to get to the next level. So let's go ahead and launch this guy again. All right, so I'm gonna to try to launch him and we're gonna see if we can send this uh, data once it gets up in the air. So right now we're landed. So once it gets up in the air, let's see if we can send it and uh, get it. Hopefully this survives the fall. I don't think it will. Should we go ahead and radio it? No, it's not going to survive that fall. We will radio it. There we go. Yeah. Unfortunately, it will not survive this flight. Uh, I'm surprised that little bit of boost it got, uh, it got that high. Nice plume, bro. That was close. <laughs> All right, so now we are up to 5.2 science. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more launch where we try to break the altitude uh, of 18K. I don't know if we'll be able to or not. I'm going to go ahead and take off some of these batteries. I'm just gonna put on two, two batteries. And hopefully that should reduce the weight just a little bit. I don't think we'll get any additional science, but I'm going to go ahead and include him just in case. And let's go ahead and put the thrust limiter back up and the solid fuel back up. And we'll see if we can get to that 18,000 mark. Here we go. Okay, so now we are ready. We got all our solid fuel, all of our launch mechanisms in place and ready for launch in three, two, one launch and we're off there's no control really of this thing so we're just kind of at the mercy of the flight here and just going straight up 
At least it is flying straight up. That's something good. And maybe we'll be able to get just a bit more science. We'll see. We're still flying low, so nothing new yet. It says if we recover this science, we will get something extra. But uh, the odds of us recovering this are very, very low. Very, very, very low. But if we can get past 18,000, then we'll at least succeed in that contract. But it doesn't look like we're going to. It's going to be just a little bit short. I am going to go ahead and take the science just in case we survive. There's no way that we will. But you never know. Maybe it'll hit this Stay Putnik and it'll bounce off and survive. We'll see. So close to getting that 18,000. Maybe if I would have taken these batteries off after all. Might have reached the 18,000. And nothing. Nothing survived. Okay, that's fine. So that launch was basically just a waste of money. <laughs> Alright, so let's go into the research and development. We have five science now that we can do. What are we going to do? We have the tiny structures, which is only one science. But it doesn't really give us anything that would benefit us at all. So I'm not going to take that. We could take Engineering 101, which would give us uh, solar panels, and a press map barometer, which would give us some additional science, gives us a better antenna, and ladders. So I'm tempted to take that one. We could take Aeronautics, which we would get our first cockpit, and propellers, and a, and a jet engine. So we might be able to do, we might be able to make something that could drive around the KSC and get some of that science. But I think I'm going to go with Engineering 101. Alright, so now we have an additional science module. This ship is not really changing in design at all, so we're not going to change the, uh, the name of the vessel. However, we will upgrade this to a Mark II because it now has additional features. And I think we will... Alright, so let's take off this crappy antenna, the Reflectron, and put on the Communitron. It's a little bit better. I'm going to put that right there. I think that's beautiful. That is beautiful. The Mark II is ready. Got our first milestones. Woo! Nice. Got some good money for that. Let's go ahead and launch this guy. Alright, so we do have some additional science to get here. I'm going to go ahead and take that. And that is nothing there. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go ahead and retrieve this vessel now that we got the science from the launch pad. Extra 3.6 science. Mark II is ready. It will not, it definitely will not make it into past the 18,000. So we're going to go, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to launch this. We're going to radio out the stuff there. Electric charge is almost out already. So close to that 18,000 mark. So close. But not today. Not today. Alright, so now we are up to 8. So we could go ahead and get one more unlock here of the aeronautics. We could get some plain parts. Or we could get some liquid fuel tanks. Which wouldn't do me any good without a liquid fuel rocket. So we really need 10 so I can unlock both of those at the same time. Or I could unlock this thing and we could start gathering data from around. I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that. And although it pains me to do so, I'm going to go ahead and get the tiny because it might help us make something uh, that could gather more science. But that's going to be it for this first episode. Like I said, going to be short episodes the further for the first probably five or six episodes. But I uh, hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ships are a burden thing They make a fiery ring Pulled by gravity We fell into the sea Jem fell into a burning ball of fire He went down down, down, and the flame went higher, and he burns, 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 her ball 
and chills like ours need. We made a rendezvous. Now we'll rescue you. Jim, the 